Recently, Donald Trump Jr. tweeted this. You know that 30 round magazine the left is always trying to confiscate and ban? Well, now you know why you need them. And they ain't for deer hunting. In response to this, Samuel Schwartz, whose cousin was killed in the Parkland shooting and says he is dedicated to making sure no other family has to go through what his did, said this in response. Today, Donald Trump Jr. admitted that 30 round magazines are not for hunting and are explicitly for killing humans. Glad we're on the same page. Except that's not what he admitted at all. But anyone with half a brain knows this. But what Samuel Schwartz was trying to do, quite pathetically I might add, is engage in a common argument tactic that I call VIPs. Vilify, insult, project, and shame. In no particular order, except when I'm trying to make a catchy acronym. Now, let's start with the projection. At no point in the history of the gun debate did the pro 2A side argue that the Second Amendment was about hunting. It's the anti-Second Amendment side that argues that the Second Amendment is about hunting so that you can justify banning anything that doesn't meet your antiquated stereotypical idea of what is needed for hunting. So you're just projecting here. We're not changing the Constitution. We're enforcing it, being reasonable. We're taking on the bad actors doing bad and dangerous things in our communities and to our country. Talk to most responsible gun owners and hunters. They'll tell you there's no possible justification for having 100 rounds in a magazine of a gun. Like I've said before, what do you think? The, the deer wearing Kevlar vest? Now, let's talk about vilification. Does he really believe all of the millions of gun owners, including Donald Trump Jr. want 30 round magazines so they can go and murder people? That is an astronomically insane leap of logic that no one who was having this conversation honestly would ever conclude. But this is what they do. They project their argument onto you. Then when you counter it, they go to the complete extreme and then try to vilify you with their made up argument. Then there's the insults. The fact that you think we're too stupid to see that you're playing in the gray area of using the word killing people is insulting. A mass shooter killing people using a 30 round magazine is a murderer. Donald Trump Jr. killing a mass shooter using a 30 round magazine is a defender of life. There's two distinctions there that he purposely did not use. And the reason why he does that is because he's trying to vilify. He's trying to make it seem that anybody who is against any form of gun control only wants to have them so they can murder people. Two incredibly different things, but you think we're too stupid to see that you're implying murder when you say killing. And lastly, there's a shame. Ending his tweet with glad we're on the same page now is a shaming tactic designed to make Donald Trump Jr. look stupid by implying that while he was trying to make a pro-gun argument, he actually was making a argument against the Second Amendment. When, like I said before, any moron can see this is not the case. But this is the tactic that anti-gunners use consistently to derail any logical discussion about guns in this country. But here's the thing. Two things can be true at the same time. The Second Amendment can have nothing to do with hunting, and there can be a number of reasons why you'd want a 30 round magazine for hunting, like hog or varmint hunting. Or if you're hunting in an area where there are big predators and you want something with more firepower to defend yourself with, if one of those types of predators were to try to come up and kill you, then yes, you'd probably want a rifle with a lot of rounds in it. But at the end of the day, this whole the Second Amendment is about hunting argument is stupid. Do we really honestly think that the founding fathers who just got done fighting a revolutionary war came to the table, sat down to draft the most important document for this brand new country, and the second thing on their priority list was, hey, let's write something down to defend their ability to hunt? This is just moronic stupidity. But, but again, like I said before, anybody with half a brain knows this. The only problem is, is that stuff like this goes out to the people in the middle. So what they can do is sway the people in the middle, the very people who are honestly the biggest driving force in determining where this country goes with respect to the Second Amendment. I always say this, the people in the middle are what's most important because there's a ton of them. And a lot of them don't have any direction whatsoever on where they stand on the Second Amendment. And they look to people to try to determine where they stand on the Second Amendment, which is why it's so important for the other side to monopolize the forms of information, to monopolize the platforms that information is spread on, because they want to be able to control the narrative in order to get people to think a specific way. Whereas we, on the pro-gun side, 
This is why we struggle on platforms. This is why we get shadow banned. This is why they won't have us come onto their shows to have conversations because they know once the middle gets wind of our argument and the size that we're presenting, they know it makes more sense. They know it's more logical because it's based in logic and common sense. Whereas their arguments are shrouded in hyper emotion and irrational thinking. He who controls the platform controls the message. And that's what we're dealing with today. And that's why they engage in these tactics. VIPs, it's this VIPs mentality where they feel like just because they have this particular position on this issue, they can shame you, they can guilt you, they can project on you, and they can insult you. And yes, AR-15s are protected by the Second Amendment. A well-regulated militia being necessary to the security of a free state. The right of the people to keep and bear arms shall not be infringed. It didn't say only handguns, it said arms. Guns aren't political. That's why I need your help getting this message to spread on YouTube by clicking the thumbs up button, leaving a comment to let me know what you think of the video, then subscribing to the channel. But most importantly, click that bell symbol. For products featured in this video, click the links in the description.